Hi again, uh, here we are to talk about uh, the page view controller in Xcode 7. And uh, you know, in the last video I made the page view controller and I, I switched it to the scrolling style. And I was having a problem here where, you know, the, the next view kind of overlaps the previous view. Um, you can see like this image is overlapping the other picture, right? Um, so, so what I'd forgotten here was this. Um, th since I'm using the image view here, um, and the image view is, is set to the edges of the view, it doesn't automatically clip the images. And my images are set to aspect fill, so that some of the image is going to bleed off the edges, right? If the, you know, depending on the aspect ratio. Um, so what we need to do here is I'm going to go into the, each of these views, and when I click on the image view, I'm going to look down here into the view properties, and I want to check the option here, clip subviews. And what this will do is it'll make sure that any bit of the image that bleeds outside the edge of the box will not be visible, okay? So I'll click on this one and clip subviews, and then go to the third page and clip subviews, and then I'll go to the last page and clip subviews, right? So there we go. So now let's give that a test, right? Uh, so I'll click uh, Run. And, and there we go, right? So that kind of looks pretty good there. Um, and everybody scrolls, right? Um, so that's working pretty good. Um, here's another note. Uh, while we're talking about just the options here, you know, uh, you can use the... Um, the page scroll transition style or the page curl transition style. Um, besides that, you can also set the direction. So navigation can be horizontal, which we just saw, or it can be vertical, right? And with a vertical navigation, it looks like, like this. Um, right, so with the vertical navigation, you can see I can drag up and down. I can't go sideways, right? But there we go. So maybe that would work for some other situation, right? Um, but anyway, there's there's a couple more notes on on some of the options available here. Um, I'm not sure what this double sided is. You know, let's just check that one. I've never even used it. I don't know what it does. Um, let's test it again here. Uh, doesn't seem to do it. Must do something though. I don't know. I'll I'll look it up. Um, but anyway, so you can experiment with that stuff, and I hope that's helpful. And then in the next um, videos, what we'll do is uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to set this up as sort of like an onboarding. So imagine you had a slideshow that you wanted to show before someone, you know, the first time someone entered your app or they were using your app, you know. Um, and so uh, so what we want to do is we want to maybe only show this page view controller the first time. And then when you get to the end, you can tap on the Done button and then continue on to the app, right? So we'll need a way to, um, to you know, activate this button in the last view, right? So I'll do that in the, in the next video, um, and that'll be the subject of that video, okay? So thanks for watching.